What is happening guys? Welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create a, another backplate. We do a couple of things different but for the most part most of this is the same as our last tutorial. However, I'm going to be putting these videos out regularly just to give you guys different ideas of different designs for backplates that you guys might want to create. So hopefully you all enjoy. Remember to like the video and subscribe. We've got plenty of custom PC videos on the channel and let's get into it. Firstly, measuring out the size of our GPU and then cutting out the acrylic to size. I used the jigsaw with a plastic cutting blade to make sure that it cut and not crack the acrylic. I did a test fit onto the GPU before I started sanding the edges. I want to get rid of all those jigsaw blade marks and the easiest way to do this is to wet your sandpaper and then sand. The way that this works is it'll show the jigsaw blade marks a lot better. Onto our design, I have cut out this design with my vinyl plotter. Now you can buy vinyl stickers on Amazon or eBay or people like myself can make them. They're really cheap and you can create your own designs. Peeling the vinyl back, applying it to the acrylic and I still have the back section of the protective film on the back of the acrylic just so it doesn't scratch. Peeling the application tape off nice and slow and then making sure that the vinyl is on nice and firm. This is what it looks like so far. Moving on to scoring a few lines with our plastic cutter, I want to create a nice simple design in the corner. Going over the powered by with a bit of black, three coats, and then on the back I'm just going over the rest with the blue so that the Intel logo shows through a nice blue colour. On the front, I'm going over with three coats of white paint, going back and forth light coats, guys, because the lighter it is, the better the finished design will look. Slowly peeling off all of the letters, using the knife to grab the edge, and then pulling it up and using my fingers to pull the rest of the vinyl up. Please do not clear before you do this. Some brands of clear will take some of the paint off with the vinyl, and therefore you will have to start again on your project. There will be some excess paint. I'm just going to get a bit of water and rub down my acrylic and then I use the knife just to scratch away any excess paint. A few coats of clear and we are ready to go. I hope you all enjoyed this really quick tutorial. Remember to subscribe, like, and comment. We've got plenty of videos on the channels, guys. Lots of custom PCs. And we'll see you all in the next video.